hunger. Remember the images from Ethiopia with the kids covered in flies, with bellies swollen and withered bodies? The liberated survivors of Belsen concentration camp. Nothing but walking skeletons. Hunger. You will no doubt have said at some time this week, I'm hungry, or the more dramatic, I'm starving, unless you are a fat bastard like me that just snacks constantly, so I don't really know what it's like to be truly hungry. But yeah, keep that thought in mind. Hunger. What is the longest you've gone without food? For me, it was when I had an operation and couldn't eat for 12 hours beforehand. I think I actually cheated a bit. But what is your longest? A day? See, we are lucky in the West. I have a cupboard full of food. 18 kilograms of pasta in one cupboard alone. Fridge and freezer full. I like food. I like food for numerous reasons. Hunger. Imagine if you wake up in the morning and you have no food. Imagine it approaches dinner time and you have nothing still. Then the evening meal time passes and still no food. Going to bed having not eaten a thing. The grumbling of your stomach keeping you awake to the point you clench your fist and press it into your gut just to stop it hurting. Then you wake up the next day and nothing. Again, no food, hunger. How many days can you stand it? Before long, all you can think of is food and how to get it. It's amazing how a person will devolve to the level of an animal when they are truly hungry. With this knowledge, I control. With this knowledge, I condition. With this knowledge, I break them. Hunger. While they starve down there, I sit up here and feast. Steak with vegetables and peppercorn sauce. Noodles with the chicken alfredo sauce. Lamb shoulder with creamy mashed potatoes. Beef cooked slowly for six hours in my slow cooker. I love cooking. And while I cook, I open the door to the cellar so they can smell what I'm cooking. I smile as I go for a bath, smelling the delicious meat cooking. Knowing if I can smell it up here, they can smell it down there. I usually eat my meals in front of the television, the plate on my knee. I have no wife or partner, no kids. So meals are pretty lonely, to be honest. So sometimes I'll carry my plate carefully down the cellar steps. I'll sit at the old wooden table down there, and I'll enjoy the company. Granted, this experience is more enjoyable for me than it is for them. They remind me of dogs, looking pleadingly with big puppy eyes. Each of them have wasted away a lot now. Three days of no food and drink and the pounds just drop off. I sometimes laugh to myself and wish someone would chain me up like that. <laughs> uh, God knows I could lose a few pounds. They stare and watch me eat. It annoys me, to be honest, and I stare back 
until they lower their eyes. I swear, the blonde one is trying especially hard to send some sort of psychic message to beg me to share. But I don't think that three days is long enough. They aren't there yet, not truly hungry yet. I think at least two more days. The one with very dark hair and dark eyes that spat at me in anger when she first woke up here. The one that cursed my mother and called her a bitch. My mother was a fucking saint. For that level of disrespect, she's going to go the full week, at least. Even if she breaks at day five, she will do two more. And when they break, I'm not such a jerk as to not provide food. They will be brought up one at a time. I don't need to worry about them running at this point. They will do whatever I say. On the night I'll cook for them like I cook for myself. Biscuits and gravy, pasta, cake, all the food you can imagine. And I'll sit watching them devour it as though a starving stray dog that had found a discarded bucket of KFC. I bring the blonde one up, feed her, and then take her back down. Then the guy with glasses, again, he eats, and then back down to the cellar. But when I finally bring the dark-haired one up, she still has that look in her eyes that says, fuck you. I take my 45 out and put it on the table. I'll bury you out back and nobody will ever find you. I tell her matter of factly. I take the food from in front of her and eat it myself. She still has that defiant look. Some animals you just can't break. I take her out back. I have no neighbors for miles. Sometimes I just think I'm starved of genuine human interaction. I could always relate to one of my all-time heroes, Jeffrey Dahmer. He was very misunderstood. He didn't enjoy killing any more than I enjoyed putting the bullet in the back of the dark-haired girl's head, or any of the others that are out back. Jeffrey Dahmer was just lonely, and so am I. I've worked my way through, what, 15 potential partners now? None of them ever meet my criteria. There's always an escape attempt, talking back, arguing. All I want is someone that will genuinely care enough to fully submit. I'm down to two potentials now, and to be honest, I'm feeling jaded. I'm not even feeling the two that are down there. I'll have to post another profile all over the internet and see which hungry creatures come to my honeypot. I'm just hungry for love.